quick view of part to one. More than twenty, but I am more than reasonable with someone that's willing to bargain. <laughs> ten dollars. All right, add it to the pile. Another ten. I got to give you four on it in case it doesn't work. You want to take a better one? Let's take this. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not interested. How much do you want on the sewing machine over here? Sixty. Sixty. Yeah. I got a bargain. I got a bargain. I know. Yeah, it is hot out. And this thing here. Does this thing work? Yep. Missing a couple little things, huh? They fall on the table somewhere? Maybe in the car? Maybe in the car. You said it does work? Yeah. That is cool. They really seem like so miniature like that. Huh. Before you came out here, do you remember if they were all on there? I thought so, but I'm not 100%. Heck, for two bucks though, I don't think I can leave that there. I'm gonna take your word that it works. It doesn't seem to be in that. I mean, if anything, you can put it against the wall and you won't even notice exactly. the- Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's see, one and a two. All right, All right, thank you. You have a great day. Thanks, you too. Slide that right there. There's an extra spot right there. Force it. No, I didn't play force it. All right, take care. Head on over to the other side, see if we can find anything and get out of here. How you doing? Good. Posters are a buck. Anything on this two tables here is a buck. What do you got on that Coca Cola cooler? I'm asking 20. I paid 25 for it, getting it from my brother, and he's already got one. So. 20? You paid 20 for it? Or asking 20? I'm asking 20 for it. It's 70s. That it's thing is. Up, but it's clean inside. That thing is pretty sick. Is that cast iron? Ooh, that thing is heavy. Oh yeah. You find the uh, the bulldogs all the time. Those ones are a little bit rare. I'm only yeah. doing 35 on that. 35 on that. I'll do 50 with the cool die and the door. <laughs> Just had hamburgers last night. Celebrate my. Um, Oldest stepdaughter just graduated high school, so. Nice. Yeah, it's a good day. Jeez, oh man. All right, 70. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Cooler, it's signed and everything, and I'm still waiting to sell that thing. <laughs> you know. But I definitely appreciate the offer for sure. I think, I think if anything at that price, you should be able to get a collector soon. All right, well, I appreciate your offers. Hey, man, not a problem. That cooler is definitely pretty cool. I don't know. I found a comp on it for like 70-ish. I don't know, meat on the bone to deal with that. All right, we'll cut across to this next row. If you're getting anything from the video, please consider smashing the like button. I actually thought that was brass. Letting the heat get to me. Hello, Funko Pop. How much you got on the car here? You're mine. Ooh. This box is pretty beat up. Can you do 15 on it? Well, I'll give you 15. I'm buying out here. Even though you. All right, 15. <laughs> My first sale in probably two hours. I've never seen one of these like in a smart car. If you drive one of those smart cars, drop it in the comment. I am curious to see how scary it is to drive one of those on the highway. Well, can you break a 20 for me? Oh. 
Throw in an extra five for the audience. Throw in an extra five for the audience. They don't care what I pay. They just want the entertainment. <laughs> I think I'm a pretty entertaining guy. It wasn't so hot, I have my hat on. <laughs> That's how they recognize me. I wear a Dr. Seuss Yeah, suit. no, I wear a hat. Thanks. Not because I'm insecure about being bald, <laughs> but because I like to represent well, you the old Ted Mountain. <laughs> Who's Ted Mountain? Tenth Mile is one of my old units. Oh, oh Fort Drum, New York. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. All right. All right well, I appreciate it. You have a good day too. What oh, we got? Linux here? Jeez, oh man. I was just about to walk off. No, that's that's not Linux. The two little ones. How much you got on those babies there? Dollar each. Five each. I'll have to pass for that, but I appreciate it. What's that? No, nah, I think we're a little far apart. All right, I appreciate it. What's that? I think I'll still have to pass. I don't think there's like really any value there. Like I might even sell them for two. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. Have a good one. Don't touch the merchandise, sir. Don't stick. Oh, what did you broke this How much you got on this uh Mr. Christmas piece? Uh, battery compartment looks a little corroded. Is this yours as well? That's yours, how much? Seven. Seven bucks? That compartment's pretty corroded right there. Oh yeah, that's that You got the batteries left. You gotta take the batteries out, otherwise it'll corrode it. Okay. Always yeah, take, always take the batteries out. <laughs> so it's a jewelry box. You put your rings in there. Oh, that's a cool piece. I kind of wonder. Hmm. So this is battery operated and on and off. Okay. I got to give you four on it in case it doesn't work. You want to take a better one? Let's take this. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not interested in that. That one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is kind of cool. I think I'll pass on that one. All right, I'll give you four on that one. Give me five. Five bucks? Yeah, five. Take it. Take it yeah. What if it doesn't work, though? No, no, come on. I said, so that, they should work, you know? So that's it. Jeez, oh, man. What in the world? This guy's over here jamming out. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, if it doesn't work out, I mean, it is what it is. You know, cool jewelry box, but if it works, I think it'll be worth some decent money. It's a Christmas. Love it. Thank you. You too. Good luck with the rest of the, uh, selling the rest of your stuff. Yeah. All right. Take care. I got cold water soda. What's that? Cold water soda. Oh, no. I appreciate it. No. I appreciate it. Definitely keep looking out for people. You don't want them dropping like flies. Check that out. Caught my eye from a mile away. That is a beautiful piece. <laughs> How much you got on that? I wanted 20. Ooh. It's pretty, isn't it? No, that is definitely really cool. Yeah, I like it. Where you gonna find another one? Ah, that's a cool piece. I'd offer you 15. I got a bargain. I got a bargain. I know. What do you think? That's on you. You already turned down 15 today. Well, it's getting hotter and hotter, and I'm tell you what, this is a lot of stuff to put away. All right, we'll take 15. 15? Yeah, I am worried that it's gonna break too. If it breaks, I'm out of everything. Um, yeah, that sounds good. I appreciate it. Won't hurt. I'm telling you if people are willing to work a deal <laughs> I'm typically I feel a little bit more confident about the deal that is definitely a really cool Murano piece who my pen cool. thank you hopefully don't let them keep all the money <laughs> yeah. tell them that you want something special right after this nice well Thank you for the box. Alright, take care. Alright, y'all as well and enjoy you guys' party later. What you got there? 
Ooh, stay away from that. Came up with a really cool idea. I need to start carrying a strap in my side pouch and start strapping my stuff down because I drop stuff sometimes. And if that drops, that's going to be really crappy. How much you got on these balls here? What's that? All of them? I don't need all of them. I just, um, I kid, I don't know what happened to the little basketballs that we had. DB, can you do a buck a piece on these? Three. Three bucks a piece? Three. You were just offering a, me to take all of this. So you should have taken my half of it. Well, how much were you trying to get for all of it? Eight. Eight bucks? Holy crap, I'm offering you a dollar a piece on it. You just don't want to bring this stuff home. You don't want to load it up. How about this? I'll give you a buck a piece on these and I'll lift that up there for you. It's the best I'll offer, I'll put them back. You gonna go to the Wawa and get me a sandwich? No, no I can't go to the Wawa and get you a sandwich. What's that? <laughs> All right, so a buck a piece and I'll put the thing up there for you. That way you don't have to try to drag it all the way from out of there. How's that? Five bucks. Five bucks for these two balls? Yeah, all right, I gotta get going. Should have them. All right, well, I appreciate it anyways. Okay. You drive a hard bargain, sir. All right, you take care. Thank you. What about mortars or heavy weapons? Why, what do you know about mortars and heavy weapons? I know a lot about mortars. Why, you Marine? No, I was a mortarman in the army. Oh, where are you? Cool. 11 years. Well, I'm heavy weapon specialist. Okay. Dragons, mortars. Yeah, in the Marine Corps. Nice. Yeah. Not really, dude. You know, if you carry that shit, you're coming out of a helicopter. I know. I've done it. I've done it a lot of times. Yeah. That's a shame, dude. This one's got to go Definitely back. some pretty cool well, pieces it's there. Not, it's not. I brought our correctly. So I'll just send it back to bench bay. They'll send it back to the all right, y'all have a good one. How much do you want on the sewing machine over here? Um, 60. 60? Yeah, that's supposed to be worth money. I think it's worth about 60, so pretty fair asking price. <laughs> All right, you have a good one. No, it's worth about 60. All right, thank you. You have a good one. That guy's stuff was perfectly priced at like eBay prices. So, I mean, definitely fair asking price, but let me know what y'all think. I mean, do you really think you stand a chance getting eBay prices at a smaller market, like a flea market, or, I mean, really anywhere that's smaller than selling to online across, you know, the entire United States, or if you sell globally, which I strongly recommend. I have a lot of listings that are probably not even set up for globally that I gotta get switched over. So, let's head back to the car, see what we got. This was the stuff that we picked up in part one, and this is the stuff that we picked up in part two. So, didn't find too much. I got this model car right here for 15 bucks. The box is pretty worn. All right, so the model car here, I got 15 into that, and people are asking like 100 bucks for it. I think it's selling around 80, but with the box and the condition it's in, maybe at least 50, 60. We got a Mr. Christmas box here. Battery compartment's pretty corroded. I think we got five bucks into that. We'll see if it even works out. A little scratched up, but maybe, I don't know. I think I found comps around 60, 70 in this condition. Maybe 25, 30. All right, cleaned up the compartment really good. It was pretty corroded up in there. Really scrubbed that with a wire brush. And then let's see if it works. I mean, moment of truth, right? Nothing. Nothing. See what I mean? This is why you got a bargain. <laughs> this is why you got a bargain. Nothing. I think I'll throw it up for like 15, 20 bucks and see if anyone bites at it. It's still pretty cool. If it works out, we'll see. We've got this really cool lamp right here off the back. $2 into that. People are asking around $100 for this, and I want to say it's actually selling around 70, 80 bucks. It's missing two of the crystals. So we'll see how we do with it. I think if anything, I think if I word this right in the description, and you know, the way I like to explain it, if you put it up against a wall or something like that, it'll display well. And normally people like that thought process and they go ahead and buy. 
All right, so after going back and forth with this buyer on eBay and it ended up selling for $50 plus shipping. So hopefully at least 50 bucks on that, we'll see. And last but not least, we got this beautiful Murano glass shell bowl. Really nice condition, super beautiful piece. We got 15 bucks into that. They're willing to bargain. If they're willing to bargain, I'm willing to bargain. Um, so this is going for about maybe 70 to 100 bucks on that. So really cool piece right there. Um, just, you know, really fragile. So we'll see what happens with that. I think we'll do well on that piece. That one will probably go up definitely in the buy it now. A couple of those small glass pieces over there that came from part one. That will go on probably what not. And All right, that's gonna do it at the Columbus Flea Market. Let's get out of here. All right, it is now the next day, June 21st. All the stuff that sold yesterday that was shipped out on Thursday, June 20th. I showed that stuff at the end of uh, part one video. And then the stuff that we got going out on Friday, I'll show right now. So got everything home yesterday, got it all listed up online. And um, I like to get all my stuff out of the car and get it put on the shelves and custom skewed. These two Disney cars here, Donald and Mickey Mouse, both sold yesterday. I had somebody offer me 60 bucks on these. I was hoping to get at least 70. Countered him at 65 and um, he went ahead and took it. So I got $20 into these and to 65 plus shipping. All right, so yeah, I started a members only to make up for the lack thereof of the AdSense sometimes from making some of these videos. Some videos take me literally four to five hours to make. So I figured I'd start a membership. If you wanna support me and the channel, you're more than welcome to sign up. Just hit the little join button. No pressure to sign up. I appreciate each and every one of you no matter what. Let's get back to the video and let's get pulling some orders. I got these Oster kitchen center parts going out for $16 plus shipping. And I got about a dollar into these, so literally nothing. Sometimes I like to part these um, things out. Sometimes I think it's better to part these out. I feel like you do better on them. Some people are just looking for individual pieces. And then I got another one of these Disney villains dolls going out. This one's called Evil Queen. I paid 30 bucks for this one. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. And this one went to another repeat buyer. Got $80 plus shipping on that one. All right, so I got this big Bose subwoofer that's going out for $105. So it's kind of hard to break down the cost of goods on this. I said I got about 70 into it. I already sold the media center for like 35, and then I still got some speakers um, for sale, and then I sold the speaker stands locally for 25. So I think after all said and done, after I get done selling all this Bose stuff, I'm only gonna make like $70 profit on a $100 investment. So not the best flip, but I'm just gonna get this shipped out. Oh, in total shipping this one, plus another two items, and then one Facebook Marketplace pickup, all for like 60 bucks. And I'm the one that's always ripping people off. I'm always ripping people off. All right, this was a cool little find last Saturday. I got this brass and glass uh, soap dispenser. Paid $5 for this. Somebody messaged me asking me if I would take like 35 bucks. And I was like, no, definitely not. I wanted like 60 or 70 for it originally. And um, I said, I was like, I think I can definitely get at least 50. And then the guy sends me an offer for 45 saying that it was his birthday. And you know, what the heck? I was like, you know, I'm also not trying to run a storage unit business here. So I was like five into 45. And I figure if anything, I found this in that bin, not even listed, some brass skeleton key. Couldn't find out much about it, so I don't think it's worth much. So I think we'll go ahead and throw that in. Here's a free brass key and a happy birthday little note we'll throw in there. Oh, and then this Walking Dead, I just pulled this. This sold for $15, this um, coffee mug right here. I paid $3 for that at a yard sale. Don't normally do that good on coffee mugs, but I took a, a chance on this one. I got this Callaway golf set. This Callaway golf set is going out for $120 plus shipping. Picked this up at a uh, yard sale for was it, $35. Did a little bit of bargain, or no, actually I paid 40 for this. I did some bargaining on this. I almost missed out on that deal. 
All right, I'm just gonna randomly insert this little clip right here in the video. Just check out how perfect this box is right here for this golf set. Couldn't even believe it. Get your free boxes. Come on, look at that. Honestly, people can think what they want. Sometimes you get all the money, and then sometimes, uh, lately, a lot of times, I've been only getting like 80% of the money. And on 80%, let's say I thought I was gonna get like 120 on this, I ended up getting 80 bucks. And I'm like, without the bargaining and all that, and without, um, you know, factoring in time it takes me to list and ship and everything, I'm like, this is simply just not worth my time. And I always say that about like sewing machines and printers. I want it to be worth my time. Otherwise, a lot of people are like, why do you sell big stuff? And I'm like, it's worth my time. If, if I didn't get all the money on this, then it wouldn't have been worth my time. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, there's always going to be haters out there that are going to hate. Um, but at the same time, um, for the most part, 98% of the comments have been positive, And I appreciate that. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you got anything from today's video, please consider smashing the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. If you made it this long in the video, you might as well subscribe. More videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday. Appreciate it. The Veteran Flipper out. Peace.